Oil and gas is one of the biggest industries in the world, not just in terms of profits and sales, but also in terms of companies with a lot of power. China, Russia, Europe, and other places have some of the best oil and gas companies in the world. All other industries and businesses that need to work depend on the oil and gas industries. Here are the eight highest earning oil and gas companies in 2022. Number 10. Gazprom Revenues, 117 US dollars billion. Gazprom is a Russian company that was started in 1989 when the Soviet Ministry of Gas Industry was turned into a corporation while keeping all of its assets. It is a public joint stock company. It gets natural gas from the ground, makes it, transports it, and sells it, mostly in Russia. The name of the company comes from the Russian words Gazavea Promyshlenost, which means gas business. Moscow is where Gazprom's main office is. Gazprom is a private company, but the Russian government owns most of it. Gazprom also helps the Russian government with its diplomatic efforts, such as setting gas prices for export and letting other countries use its pipelines. How much of the global and Russian reserves belong to the company? Gazprom has the most natural gas reserves of any company in the world. Gazprom is a global energy company that focuses on all of its operations, from upstream to downstream. This includes geological exploration, production, transportation, storage, processing, and sales of gas, gas condensate, and oil, sales of gas as fuel for cars and planes, and the production and sale of heat and electricity. 9. Lukoil Revenue, 125 US dollars billion. Lukoil, which is based in Russia, is one of the best oil and gas companies in the world. People know that the company works in places like the United States, Europe, Asia, and Africa. The company is the best at getting oil and natural gas out of the ground, making them, and moving them around the world. Along with Gazprom, Lukoil is one of the most important Russian companies. Since it began in 1995, the company has built up a strong history. The organization has hired more than 100,000 people. 8. Chevron Revenue, 156 US dollars billion. Chevron was founded in 1906, and since then, it has grown to become one of the most important oil and gas companies in the world. Standard Oil, which is based in San Ramon, California, and is in more than 180 countries, is the company that took over. Under the Sherman Antitrust Act, the government of the United States broke up the Standard Oil Company into several parts in 1911. The Standard Oil Corporation, which was one of these divisions, later became Chevron. It's on the New York Stock Exchange and the Standard and Poor's 500 of the United States. Chevron is involved in every part of the oil, natural gas, and geothermal energy industries, from exploration and production to refining, marketing, and transportation, as well as the production and sale of chemicals and the production of electricity. It came in at number 16 on Forbes's list of the 500 largest companies in the United States. Number 7. British Petroleum 158 US dollars billion. Since it was started in 1909, it has come a long way. Its main office is in London. It is one of the top oil and gas super majors in the world. It is a fully vertically integrated company that does exploration and production, refining, distribution and marketing, petrochemicals, power generation, and trading. It also has smaller parts that focus on things like biofuels and wind power, which are both natural sources of energy. It has a presence in more than 70 countries, and its biggest division is BP America. Its main listing is on the London Stock Exchange, and it also has a secondary listing on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. It sells products like fuels for cars, energy for heat and light, and petrochemicals that are used to make things like plastic bottles and paint. Number 6. Total Revenue, 185 US dollars billion. The business was started in March 1924, and its main office is in Courbevoie, France. Its businesses span the whole oil and gas chain, from exploration and production of crude oil and natural gas to power generation, transportation, refining, marketing of petroleum products, and international trade of crude oil and products. Total also makes a lot of chemicals on a large scale. With sun power and Total Solar, Total is a major player in solar energy. Total's main office is in Paris, France, and the group is made up of 900 subsidiaries. 
There are also a lot of affiliate investments and joint ventures, most of which are in liquefied petroleum gas. The company is part of an index for the European stock market. After World War I, Raymond Poincaré, the French prime minister at the time, turned down the idea of forming a partnership with Royal Dutch Shell in favor of starting a completely different and independent French oil company. This is where the company got its start. Number 5. Royal Dutch Shell Revenue, 261 US dollars billion. Shell's headquarters are in the Netherlands. It was made in 1907 when the Royal Dutch Petroleum Company of the Netherlands and the Shell Transport and Trading Company of the UK joined together. In terms of how much the company makes, it comes in at number 6. It is also one of the top supermajors in oil and gas. The Royal Dutch Shell PLC was founded on February 5, 2002. Its job is to look for crude oil and natural gas all over the world, both in traditional fields and in unconventional places like tight rock, shale, and coal formations. On the other hand, Shell is a global group of energy and petrochemical companies that is responsible for outperforming development projects and investing in research and development, which leads to low-cost investments for the future. Their business is split into four parts, upstream, which looks for new liquids and natural gas reserves, integrated gas and new energies, downstream, which refines crude oil into different products, and projects and AMP, technology, which manages the company and makes money for its shareholders. But their main strategic focus is on the technological innovation that is needed to meet the needs of a world that is getting more and more complicated. Number 4. ExxonMobil Revenue, 280 US dollars billion. ExxonMobil is one of the best oil and gas companies in the world. It was founded in 1999 and has its main office in Irving, Texas. With 5.3 million barrels of oil produced every day, it is one of the top oil and gas companies in terms of both production and revenue. They are involved not only in petrochemicals but also in things like plasticizers, chemicals, etc. that are made from hydrocarbons. They are committed to using cutting-edge technologies to capture and store carbon, make their operations more energy efficient, and make sure they don't hurt the environment. Its idea of sustainability is based on three things, how it affects people, the economy, and the environment. Number 3. PetroChina Revenue, 380 US dollars billion. It focuses on three strategies, getting the best resources, marketing, and going global. Its logo shows that it is committed to getting energy while protecting the environment as much as possible. This company's main office is in Beijing, China. It has five business segments, exploration and production, refining and chemicals, marketing, natural gas exploration and its pipeline, and other, which includes cash management and other financial activities. The company also refines raw petroleum and oil-based products, makes and sells essential petrochemical items, subsidiary synthetic items, and other substance products, and makes and sells subsidiary synthetic items. The group was started on November 5, 1999. Its headquarters are in Beijing, China, and it has more than 800,000 employees and more than $350 billion in revenue. Number 2. Sinopec Revenue, 384 US dollars billion. Sinopec was started in December 2000. Its headquarters are in Beijing, China, and more than 78,000 people work there right now. The company makes chemicals and petrochemicals and is one of the world's largest oil and gas companies. The business stays open by working in five areas, polyester chips, bottle-grade polyester chips, staple fiber and hollow fiber, filament, and pure terephthalic acid. With an endless supply, the market for refined oil products for the home was very competitive. According to the data, local use of refined oil products grew by 5.5% compared to the previous year. Gas and lamp oil use kept growing at a strong rate, while diesel use stopped going down and started growing year on year. Number 1. Saudi Aramco Revenue, 400 US dollars billion. This huge company is based in Dharan, Saudi Arabia, and is the world's largest producer of oil and gas. It has been around for 83 years, since it was founded in 1933. It is a fully vertically integrated company that does all of the following with its petrochemical products, exploration, extraction, refining, distribution, shipping, and marketing. It also sends crude oil to countries that don't have enough energy sources. 
They think that energy is an opportunity and that no country should be held back by not having enough energy to meet its needs. With a daily output of 12.5 million barrels, they have been and still are the most reliable source of energy for the kingdom and the rest of the world. This company runs the world's largest onshore oil field, the Gawar field, as well as the world's largest offshore oil field, the Safania field. However, it is not yet on the stock market. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.